Guys, this house is going bye-bye. This house is a goner. So every year, I do a yearly inspection. I have a guy come in, just inspect the house, make sure everything's good. And this year, he found tons of asbestos across the entire house. Asbestos is worse than breathing in Roundup. Like, this stuff is bad, man. Asbestos is seriously known to cause cancer. So what we gotta do is we gotta tear down this whole house. Like, I shouldn't even be inside here right now. I got the truck moved out of the garage. Got the razor moved out of the garage. And let me go up. Okay, I still got my Apex Gaming PC up here. So I'm going to go up here, hop on the game PC, and show you guys what show you guys what my, what I plan to do with a new house build. I've been looking at a couple different designs. I want to get it all done today, pretty much. So that's what we're going to be doing throughout today. Let me hop on here and show you what we're going to be building. So this is the design I'm going with. It's, I've always wanted one of these, like, forever. Like, when I heard this house had asbestos, I was kind of, like, secretly, I was like, yeah. But what we're going to be doing is building this house. So it's almost a log cabin style house, which I love. I, I love like the old, the, it's not old, but I love the log cabin type style. I'm sure a lot of you guys can probably relate to that. And it's got tons of glass throughout it. So the views are just going to be crazy good. Now, one thing is, is we have a ton of trees around here. So what I'm probably going to do is clear out all the trees. I'm going to, I need to, there's a certain piece of equipment called the T-Rex that I need to get and that's not going to happen today. But here's the idea. This is what we're going for, boys. I mean, one thing I got to do is I got to get all this moved out. I get my Apex, this Apex game PC. I can get this Apex game PC moved out of the house so we can put it in the new house. We got to move all the couches, all of that yet before because because all we can do is we can just, all we're going to do is come in here and just demolish this. Now, when I build my next house, I want it to be kind of higher up off the ground. I've noticed like a lot of water wants to rush into the the basement of the house so i'm going to try to build this up i'm probably going to bring in some dirt here probably pull the i'm going to pull the little dozer out to tear this house down and then i'm also going to pile up some dirt and build this house up with the dozer so i'm going to fire up the cat but also now you guys aren't going to like this too much but there's an excavator for rent uh at the local construction place and they also had a low boy so i'm actually going to rent that excavator for the day so we can have that uh, because we'll be digging some things out, especially the basement. We gotta dig a lot out around the basement. So it's gonna be nice having the X-Fair to help tear down the house. But for now, I'm gonna pull out the dozer. We're gonna get the dozer ready. The soil is frozen, you can't work it. Oh, I, dude, I bet this cat could still work. This is gonna be fun. So for now, I'm gonna keep this here. Now one thing is in the log cabin type house we're gonna get, I do wanna put, I do wanna put a pool in the back. So that's one thing we might dig out today. Try to get a pool in the back also while we get this, uh, while we get this house built. Okay, a little side note quick. There's so many different things I'm limited to when I do this. So almost you gotta kinda play along with the video and the imagination, but there's a lot of different things that I'm limited to. Like I can't take this dozer right through the middle of the house and then just have the house collapse just perfect where it's really realistic. So there's a couple things like that where it's not gonna be, not gonna be like how it is in, in real life. So I'm gonna fire up the Ford and we're gonna go pick up uh, the excavator. I could probably, I could maybe pull it with a pickup truck, but the, the excavator is probably 30,000 pounds and that's that's really pushing it with pickup trucks. We're gonna take the semi obviously. I'll fire up It's a little chilly out 31 degrees. Hopefully she fires up There we go Okay, she fired up. So now we're gonna put the Wilson Honestly, I gotta find a good spot for this Wilson and I think we're gonna be hauling grain like pretty soon with this So all I want to do is detach it quick But I think what I'm gonna do is just park it outside for now. There we go We got detached and just for now chalked it up put it behind here this should work because we're going to use this in the next couple of days we got some grain to sell yet but now we're on a mini road trip off to uh off to the rental place to where we can pick up our excavator now i was asking you know i, I kind of want something more american i wanted a deer i wanted a cat excavator uh but they didn't have any of that so we actually got stuck with some like it, it's the it could be really good don't get me wrong i haven't used it yet but we got stuck with some like european wheeled excavator i really want like a, a cat tracked excavator but we got a wheeled one it's we're only gonna use it for a day so it's fine i want uh, trust me i was one like a cat or something oh yeah by the way just in case you guys are wondering where the general lee is the general lee is still in my barn so that's yeah that episode the episode part two of that episode will continue probably the next couple of days here i'm not sure exactly when but generally i still own it cops don't know about it it's in my barn and boom she is loaded up. This is okay. So this is it. I, I'm gonna pronounce this name wrong, but I think it's Lieber. Dude, I so biff that name. I'm, I'm gonna call it the L machine, okay? Because I know for sure I, I biff that name. Um, and or we'll just call it the excavator. Anyways, we got this loaded up, and so this is a rental. This 
low boy is a rental. The low boy was actually more expensive than the excavator. It's insane how much these low boy rentals are. Uh, and then we'll just back up to it, connect everything, and then head back to the farm. The L9000 is loaded down, ready to rock and roll. Quick story time. A friend of mine sent me a tweet that this guy made. And it's, uh, it's this farmer. I don't know. He has like 20,000 followers on Twitter or whatever. And it's, it's a farmer. I, think, I guess I don't know. Somewhere in the Midwest. I think maybe Nebraska-ish. And anyways, he was like, this Ohio State-Nebraska game is so boring that I've been watching this this guy play farming similar on YouTube. And I'm like, first of all, I'm like, oh, come on, bro, really? And he literally took a, uh, he took a picture with his phone, like, watching us. And then he was like, and then he also was like, no way. I have this exact semi in real life. And this guy has an L9000 just like this. Besides, it's blue in real life. And I'm like, it, I don't know. He was uh, he was taking some shots. It was kind of funny, but I I, I don't blame him sometimes. But uh, but I don't know. It was just funny. He was like he just slowly roasted farm sim community. Now there's a couple different things I want to do with this log house because I want this to be nice. And you guys are probably like, squad, where are you getting the money for this? Well, insurance is going to cover most of the house that we're tearing down for asbestos reasons. It's crazy how the insurance worked out, but it's going to cover it. And then we're going to go a little nicer with our house. Obviously, this log cabin's going to cost a little more than our old house was worth. And so we're going to put some of our own money back into it. I want to put a pool. Uh, I want the landscaping real nice. So a couple things I'm going to add are bushes, uh, probably some nice trees throughout here. And then I'm going to tear down all those trees so we can get a fabulous view. Even though I love those trees, we got to tear them down. Since we're going to have so much glass throughout our house, we'll be able to get a heck of a view. There we go. We've arrived. I'm going to get the excavator load off. And then we're going to start digging in this house, tearing it down. Uh, I'll probably haul away some of the stuff, and then we'll burn the rest. <laughs> Dude, it is so weird driving this this wheeled machine here. I was so, like, I was like, oh, they have excavators for rent. I was, like, really expecting to have a tracked excavator. And then, boom, we're surprised by a wheeled excavator. One thing, I forgot to grab my bucket. <laughs> I probably should have remembered this. So I got in the back of the truck. This thing is heavy, dude. We're flossing on down there because I don't think we could get this project done today we gotta we gotta get rushed now i know it's like really darn unrealistic how we get this house built in like 10 minutes of course i know that's really unrealistic i can't move the clock though unfortunately otherwise everybody on the server is gonna get crazy mad at me so i've been pushing down here for a while now we got the whole house burned buried got all the materials hauled out now we got to go a little deeper you can kind of see here let me pull the dough i'm gonna get out of here first let's climb out of here and then i'm gonna get to, uh <laughs> this is pretty steep for the dozer but this works pretty nice so let me put the dozer away for a second, but we got most of this clear. Now I want to stay at this level throughout the whole bottom of this because where you want to go a little deeper with the basement. So what I've been doing is trying to push out this dirt and kind of just push it up to the banks and then start digging it out with the excavator. That's kind of my whole goal here to just kind of push this out and keep it at this level instead of this height right here. I want to take it about three, four foot deep, three, three or four foot more deeper over here. So we're gonna head back down there and then keep pushing this dirt over. Try to pile it up and just push it along the banks. The thing is, is this ground is solid. Like me pushing this dozer, we get it, but the ground is like solid throughout here. There we go, we're pushing a little bit. Like I said, this is gonna take a while. There we go, we got most, so we got most of this done. I got it to the level I wanna keep it at. And now basically it's time to start pouring the foundation of this house and then we'll fill in the dirt around it and then we'll start building up pretty much. This is going to be crazy after it's done, but I want to have a giant basement in this house. That's the main goal of this, because the other house, we didn't really have much of a basement. So I want this looking fabulous, and I don't know, we'll see how it turns out. Dude, like Jake, Buck, and Austin are literally, <laughs> those guys are literally going to be like, what the heck did you just do with your house, dude? You built a log cabin. Construction is complete. <laughs> oh my gosh. Now, I, I'm so pumped about this house. Okay, first of all, we don't have a garage. Now, that's why we had this room over here. So either a garage or a pool will go over here, or I mean, technically we have we, we, we have a giant garage right there, obviously the shed, but we probably need a garage for the truck. Now this is a Four Seasons house. You guys might be like, dude, squad, why don't you have doors? So the doors are still on order as of right now, but I mean, pretty soon it's gonna snow here. This is like, this is like my dream house, seriously. This is like a dream house. My, I mean, the glass? It, there's a crazy amount of glass, but guys, let me take you up there. It is, it is fabulous. First of all, morning coffee. Look at this view, dude. This view could just be insane. You can just see everything that's going on on the farm just right here. 
got these giant glass windows and they'll take you guys back through the kitchen now i don't know what this i haven't really planned out this area but the kitchen this is why i I don't know. Put your guys' vote in. Should we get rid of all these trees? I was kind of thinking about getting rid of these trees or just thinning them up so that way I can really see. But look, I mean, I can pretty much see the whole town from here. We can see the neighbors across there. Got some privacy, though. Uh, but man, this is nice. Got our kitchen table over here. Now, I got to give a huge shout out to 412 Monty because these are the guys that made the log cabin and they sent it to me. So shout out to 412 Monty uh, for doing it. It is, this is an awesome mod. Okay, so now in the summertime, <laughs> if we have a 70 inch flat screen TV theater. It's more like a hundred inch actually, but man, would you look at this? You can just sit outside, watch movies, and then I'll take you guys upstairs. So here's the office. I brought the Apex game PCs back. So here's one of them. And then here, oh, I gotta get my other Apex game PC installed yet, but here's one of them. Check out this office view, dude. This is crazy. I can just sit here. Look out and you can see pretty much everything. I'm I'm sorry, I'm so pumped about this. I guess I, I shouldn't. Anyways, uh, so they came out with these new giant outlets, which we just got them installed in my house. So think about this, taking a shower, your bath in the morning, and then boom, you just got this amazing view through here. Got a sink. Like I said, we need some more furniture in here yet. I need, that's one of the things I just haven't got done. I got the bed moved back in here, but some other furniture I tore out of the other house and I just haven't put in there. We got some furnished over there. But the main living room needs to be furnished a little more. So the doors have yet to still come. So right now it's really chilly inside the house. But tell me what you guys think. It's unique. It's different. I like it though. Dude, but look at this. Like say Austin's going to be pulling into my farm. And he's just going to see me up there on that on that top floor. Just working on my computer up there. <laughs> He'll just see me. It's kind of weird. I, to be honest, like you got to be a really open person to have a house like this. Because pretty much anybody can see what you're doing inside your house with all the windows. So the last thing I want to do is this is either going to be a garage or pool. I got to decide. I think I'm going to do, a, I think what I could, it's either pool here or pool out front. I think what I'll do is maybe pool out front. Yeah. Let's let's, so let's do a pool out. Hmm. I think I'm going to do a pool out front guys. And then I'm going to put a garage back there. Most likely I got to figure out what garage I'm going to build back there. Well, let's start digging this pool and, uh, and get this pool in. The pool is dug. I'm just going to put the excavator back here and then uh, we can start filling this in. And I got to pour concrete yet for the pool. We should get this pool dug or pool in, I should say. Change of plans. I realized the underground pool was way too much and I dug that thing way too big. So we filled it back in and we got an above ground pool. I know it's kind of a cheap way to go. Uh, darn it. But this is almost like a hot tub. This thing is so tiny. It's, I don't know, it'd be kind of cool to use it as a hot tub eventually. Uh, but what this really needs right now is landscaping. We need to landscape this whole thing. So I'm gonna get the landscaping done and I'm gonna time lapse the landscaping as we get this because I want this super nice as we do it. I'm thinking like a brick stone. We go for sure brick all throughout here to the driveway. I don't know what's gonna happen with this area. Left of the house, I have no idea. I, I think it's gonna be a shed, but I'm not gonna mess with any landscaping over there. For now, we're gonna just do around the house pretty much. Well, here she is. Now, one thing is, I don't know if I put this in the time lapse or not, but I put a giant shed in here and I don't think it's going to work out the best. There, there, there's got to be a mod out there that would be perfect for a garage, like a really nice kind of fancy, maybe like a, a mini shed slash like five car garage, like something a little bigger than like a two or three car garage. I need to figure out what I can put there, but this is looking, uh, it's looking good. Now, a lot of you guys are gonna say, dude, you're way too fancy, squad. You got a farm here, man. Just get an old farmhouse, that's all you need. Watch, 
This log cabin I thought was, it is pretty darn fancy, but it's kind of fun to be fancy, especially when it's not your actual money you're spending. Uh, but we need to find a garage here. I think it's looking pretty good. So a couple things I did, flowers, which were a good addition. Stevio had this like bush pack, which is just perfect. Uh, Cause we got the bush pack here. And then I think with the bush pack came, uh, not, not a pack of bush, but yeah, yeah. Okay. Anyways, uh, that wasn't funny. Anyways, flowers here, um, which look nice. And then another flower here. Now I thought these were flower boxes. I have no idea if they are flower boxes or not. I have no idea. And then I guess when I look at this, I think this is supposed to be like leaves. But this, whatever this is, let's call it mulch. It looks so darn good. So I went with like mulch kind of all the way around it. It really gives it a clean look. Oh, we got to fix that spot because there's just gravel laying there. But, and then I went with like a really nice tiled like driveway, which is going to look neat. Oh man, I love it. I love it. But anyways, guys, this is going to be the end of the build. There may be a part two because I'm thinking about tearing down all these trees. And then we also have to build this garage yet, whatever garage we place down there. But... She is done. She is finished. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit that like button. Hey, I will see you guys later. Also, don't forget, if you're looking for an Apex Game PC like I have up there, I got a link down below to the real life Apex Game PCs uh, where you can use code SQUAD for 10% off. We have the squad, we have the squad PC, we have the squad plus. Uh, we're coming out with a squad ultra soon. And then you don't even have to get a squad. Just get an Apex Game PC. I guess the only thing is, I, I should tell you guys this more. Don't get the silver the apex silver like the cheapest of the cheapest model they have on there because you're going to get it with like a gt 1030 graphics card and it's probably not going to run farm sim the best the way you want to so get the next version up of the silver at least if you do get an ape an actual apex game pc instead of like the squad pc but on either across site wide you get 10 percent off using code squad so hey i'll see you guys later thanks for watching guys